Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Alison, and we are the co-founders of Real Entrepreneur Mums. We are just so excited to be on the online prosperity TV show today, talking about what Real Entrepreneur Mums is all about, which is a business referral group to help women go after their dreams and smash their goals. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the online prosperity show, and today, We've got the Double Trouble, the team from the Real Entrepreneur Moms in Sydney. Now, Sophie and Alison, how are you guys doing today? Fantastic, thank you. Thank I'm you really well. Absolutely. Now, obviously, our viewers, if you're watching this show right now, you would understand that every single day we do bring across experts in their field and people that know a thing or two about helping you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, today we've got two um, of a kind, Sophie and Alison, that run a network networking group and um, establishment there in Sydney. They're going to be telling us a little bit about what they do, um, how they help other women to connect um, and participate in business with either their friends, their relatives, or people that actually do know, like, and trust them. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I know that you are um, an you need to surround yourself with people um, that are heading somewhere in order for you to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, uh, Sophie and Alison have created a platform where people can get to know you, like you, and trust you so that you can be in line to smash your goals. And this is not just any other referral group. They've actually got your back. Now, Sophie, I know I missed my words here a little bit. Tell us a little bit about what um, The Real Entrepreneur Moms is all about. And Alison, I want you to then reiterate and let us know how you guys actually started this. Oh, thank you. What an introduction. I think you did a great job. So Real Entrepreneur Moms is all about creating these platforms for women who run their own business to really come together and support each other in a really safe and lovely culture environment where they get to know each other through fun, inspiring meetings where we get to experience what each other's business is like. It's not like where you go to a networking event and you're just throwing out your business cards and there's no real relationships that are being made. This is about genuine connection and really wanting to learn about each other's business so that you can help each other and also refer each other clients. And when you refer a client to someone who you know, like and trust, they are absolutely hot, ready to go and ready to sign up to be your next customer. So we got started um, just over a year ago and Sophie and I had known each other for a little while through a networking event um, in our local area. And, you know, we got to know each other, we experienced each other's businesses. Um, and so what we were having a conversation about one day is really what what do women need in their business? Like how do we build those raving fans where people get to know about your business and stuff? So we actually started by uh, tapping about 18 of our friends, business friends on the shoulder and said, come over and have a cup of coffee with us at Sophie's kitchen table. And we um, you know, shared an idea about creating this business referral group for these women. And they absolutely loved it. Like, 17 of them jumped on board and said, right, where do I sign? I want to be part of this. This is exactly what we need. There is nothing like this for our, you know, for us at the moment. So we're like, okay, this is obviously something that um, is required. And we got started and we kind of charge a really, really low rate at the beginning so we could, you know, understand what, how the business is going to work. We reinvested every single cent of that into our website and our logo. And we actually donated about $3,000 to a local charity as well as part of our give back um, donations. And yeah, we kind of use that as a test group to see how, how to make this business the most effective. And it was just um, incredible. It's, and it's gone strength to strength from there. So we started with one group in Sydney and now we have over 10 groups in Sydney and also opened in Adelaide recently as well. Absolutely. So obviously, um, when it comes to starting your own business, it's not the easiest um, thing to do. A lot of people are maybe just working from uh, home and they've got kids around them and they don't know what exactly it is that um, they should do for them 
to connect with other moms, especially those that are around them or people that have a specialty that they don't quite have in their business. Let us know what it is that um, happens when um, you know people come to your your meetings or to your scheduled events. Absolutely. I think you like absolutely said the right thing there because women in business working from home get really isolated and they're doing the same thing in and out in the computer, behind the computer or, you know, in their office or whatever it may be. And they absolutely need to get, get out there and start talking to other women. And so I think one of the biggest points of what we have with our communities is the support and that friendship and we really want people to be successful. So that's what they get. They get motivated, inspired. They walk out feeling 10 feet tall after attending one of the meetings and they go and do all the things they need to do in their business because they've got some inspiration and, and that little bit of help as well. Absolutely. All right. So just in case, you know, my wife is sitting in there and maybe somebody in the audience is really trying to figure out how to get started. Is it just enough for somebody to just have a website and a Facebook page and hope that people are going to come. Why do I then need to come and meet up with other people every single time um, in order to, um, um, you know, in order to grow my business? It takes a while to build a relationship with someone and whether that's online or in person, um, people want to see that you're actually mean business and that you're around. So I think by showing up every fortnight, we, our meetings run twice a month. Um, it enables people to build that trust with you, but also, you know, the first time you hear about a product or a service, you you're not going you're not going to be in a position that you want to buy or talk about them at you know your friend's barbecue that you're having. But when you're consistently seeing these people on a regular basis, and every time you're hearing a different story about their business, or you may be experiencing their business when they do their member showcase, um, it builds that trust with that brand, and you know, like it takes, I think they say eight or nine times for you to see a brand or hear about something before you're ready to make a buying decision. So you can't expect to go to one networking event once and then expect people are going to buy or just have a website up and expect that people are going to come and find your website or follow you on Facebook. You need to be getting in people's face in a good way um, so that they recognize you and you become a trusted brand. And then when the time is right, they're ready to do business with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that, Sophie. Now, Sophie, there's also the question of um, when people are starting out in business, it's called uh, maybe the imposter syndrome. They feel like they don't have enough to offer or they're not good enough in their business. Um, what sort of comfort levels would you, you know, establish for somebody who's really starting? Because you guys seem to know what you're doing. Somebody who's maybe starting off can get intimidated. Do you cater for people that are just starting or do you just um, want to deal with people that already are ready to accept clients? No, absolutely. I mean, Alison is a, a business coach and I'll, I'll let her talk to that in, in a second. But I suppose it doesn't really matter where you are at your business. We all, I think at some stage in our business, we all get that little bit of imposter syndrome of, oh my God, is this really happening when you are starting to see that success? But I think, you know, what we'd say to someone who's just starting out is that I wish that when I was starting out, I had a group like this around me that I could learn from because the knowledge in the room is absolutely incredible. And because we only have one profession type per group, there's no competitive culture. So people genuinely want to help you. And even though you're starting out, and we hear this all the time, hey, Alison, is that they say, oh, but, but I'm just getting started or whatever. And let's say they're um, a mortgage broker and they've just started their own mortgage broking business. They've been working for one of the big four banks in Australia for like 20 years. They are an industry expert. It's just the first time they've actually got out on their own. So, but their, their knowledge of the industry and the service they provide to their customers and all of that is absolutely world class. So they just need that reassurance that we all started in the exact same position that you're in. And, you know, we're going to be able to help you by sharing our tips and tricks with you. So hopefully the pain we went through, you don't have to go through. Um, and that does help to him to go, oh, actually, you're right. I'm bloody good at what I do. I just need to learn the, the back end of how to run a business, I suppose. Absolutely. So obviously your um, events happen twice per month, is it? Yeah. Okay. Like, but from my understanding, motivation and growth is, you know, something like taking a bath. You can't just do it once or twice mm -hmm. a month and you're ready. 
um, jumping out there. How then do you offer the continued support for somebody who's really trying to get off the ground um, and, um, you know, get, get really started and catch up with everybody else who's already been doing and having a successful business? We are a membership based organization. So people do join for the year. Um, and as, as you say, you can't just go once to a networking event and that, that's it. You like you've built a business. So you do need to attend. And we, we also have lots of ways that we help educate our members. So we have some videos that are going out teaching people how to really network and really explain uh, their business, like their 60 second real pitch is what we call it, and talk about how to how to get the most out of building that network around them. We also have a digital online magazine that uh, our members write for, so they're always giving some really great information about growing a business and starting a business and, and also talking about their specific uh, niche topic, so educating our members. So we do have a, quite a lot of different platforms about how they can continually develop their skills as well. Absolutely. And we also offer each of the um, each of the communities have like a networking opportunity online as well. So we have networking forums for them so they can ask the silly questions they don't want to, you know, ask in our big Facebook group with, you know, thousands of people in it. So it's just for that community and which is really great. And so, you know, whether it's I don't know how to do something or can you review my first blog that I've done or oh my God, I just got recognised in this incredible award. They've got a team behind them um, that want to help them and ask, answer those questions that they don't know. So everyone's on a different journey and because we don't have that competitive culture, um, they just want to help, I suppose. Absolutely. They do also say that you're an average of the five people that you do hang around. And I'm supposing this is exactly what it is that you... Um, you know, helping to, to bring up. Do you have like a buddy system or do people just go in and everybody's then helped by somebody of expertise like Alison or how, how does it, how does it work out if somebody comes, comes to your door today, they knock in and walk us through the whole process of the concierge? We, uh, we invite everyone to come as a guest to one of the meetings to see if it's right for them. And one of the amazing pieces of feedback that we continually get is that they feel really, really welcomed, no matter what their business is, no matter their, their expertise or how long they've been in business for, they walk into one of our events and they just feel like this is their people they're meant to be around. It's welcoming, it's fun, it's friendly, it's energetic, it's not daunting at all. So that's one of the really key things I think, you know, is out there for the members and their guests. And then, yes, we do have a buddy system. It's like, you've, you know, you've read our website or something. So every member gets a buddy for the month and it rotates through all the membership. So that's a way for every member to kind of uh, take it off out of the meeting and offline and really get to know each other and, you know, discuss their businesses, understand each other's businesses. And what we're finding is like, great partnerships are coming from this. So we've had members starting podcast shows, they've done webinars together, um, like little mini markets or workshops and stuff. And it's about those sort of connections as well that, for instance, we just found out this week, there's a, um, a lady who does piano lessons or music lessons and a baby photographer. And they're gonna do a partnership together and because they've got the same target audience. And it just is amazing. Like you wouldn't have thought, thought of that at the beginning, right? So things are happening that we're like, wow, that's really, really cool. Great stuff. So there's going to be a lot of testimonials and a lot more babies created out of <laughs> <laughs> your, your groups there. Now, speaking of uh, babies, what if I'm just a woman who is really passionate about, you know, starting my own business, but yeah, I maybe don't qualify because I don't have a baby since this is real entrepreneurial moms. That's a really great question. So um, Real Entrepreneur Mums is for all women. It's just that we are mums and our story is all about the movement that's happening with, with women when they do have babies and the high number of us that start our own business when we're on maternity leave because we want that flexibility. Um, but absolutely, we have oh, heaps and heaps of members who don't, uh, aren't mums, whether that's by choice or, or whatever, they're just you know too young, not even at that stage. And that is brilliant. And I have to tell you um, this story of one of the girls who's not a mum and she is 22, Alison. She's only quite young. And she texted Alison and I a few weeks ago and she said, I just have to say how thankful I am for being part of Real Entrepreneur Mums. 
She goes, when before before joining, I thought that my career and my business would have to stop if I decided to have children. But now seeing all of these women who run a business, run a family, and are absolutely doing it, she goes, I know that my dreams don't have to stop because I want to have children. Um, and we were just blown away because I don't think you really understand the impact that you have on the people around you. And I'm not talking about Alice and I, I'm talking about her community. And, um, you know, we shared, we now share that testimonial in our open days when we were just in Adelaide. And the women in the audience were just like, wow. You know, so yeah, absolutely. All women. We love women, don't we, Alison? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. That's um, that's very, very inspiring, especially coming in from somebody who is also, they're not only going to just learn about the business, but they're also going to learn, um, you know, life, you know, experiences and stories from the other mothers that have already been, um, you know, where they are. So it's, it's not easy being a mom. Um, I, I'm speaking on behalf of my wife right now. We have a, <laughs> we have a three danger that's been holding us hostage. And my wife is really trying um, to get by. And one other day she was really, really excited. She came running into the office and she's like, honey, I'm actually really excited today. You know, my, uh, I've got both my legs shaved at the same time. And I'm like, is that, is that like, is that like an achievement? And she's like, Kalia won't let me go. Uh, and sometimes it's just the one there. So I just thought I'd put it out there and say, I really do appreciate and understand what moms could be going through. Because it's not easy trying to deal with customers and you've got the little girls, um, you know, the little kids going on there. Now, if we might have people like my wife who's really trying to put their life in order, but... Um, you know, kids are always in the way. How can they best get a hold of you uh, in order to to learn from other mothers that are, you know, actually achieving their goals? I would probably say um, the first thing to do is to join our big Facebook group because that's a forum where they can, you know, see what everyone else is doing and just start to, you know, if they're asking questions, if they're thinking about starting a business, that's a really great idea. Um, or I'd recommend if they want to start a business to contact Alison. Um, she is brilliant, a great business coach and focuses on starting, getting them to start and grow their business. Um, if they And they can also come to one of our events. So if they don't have a business, that's okay. They can still come to one of our events and check it out and ask questions and, and meet um, and, and meet the other members and just see what everyone's doing and, and how they got started and start to build their network. You don't have to have a business to, you know, to start to get involved in real entrepreneur mums because... The odds are they probably will start one in the next few years anyway. Absolutely. Great. So now just in case, uh, you know, our audience is all over the place. Um, you did say you've got videos that people can tune into and maybe an online platform that people can log in from any other areas. Um, is there other areas within Australia that you're looking to expand to just so that all the other mothers are starting to get prepared and getting ready? Absolutely. We have massive goals. So our mission is to build a global business that inspires women to go after their dreams and smash their goals. That's our mission statement. And so in the next year, in 2018, uh, our plan is to open at least 20 new communities across Australia. So including Melbourne, um, Queensland, Tasmania, ACT, Perth. Uh, and obviously, we've just started off in Adelaide as well. So we will be right across Australia in the next 12 months uh, and, you know, having lots of open days and lots of events. So there'll be lots of opportunity. Absolutely. Well, I can't thank you ladies enough for spending, you know, this time letting us know what it is that you guys are up to and how you are on a mission to help, um, you know, other women smash their goals. Because according to statistics, I don't know if you're aware of this, Alison, about 80% of small businesses actually do rely on word of mouth. So if you're going to be building a network with women that already understand who you are and are actively, um, you know, you know, you know, rooting for your business to succeed and they would then become your own advocates that would be um, referring other clients to you as well, because you can't really reach out to um, everyone um, out there. But if you've got people that really, really want you to succeed and people that are on your team, it will uh, definitely work out. Well, do you have any last sort of words for us there? Um, just so that people would know where to get a hold of you and if there's a website that they can jump onto, um, especially so that they can actually sign up right now. 
So yes, absolutely on our website. So it's all the W's dot real entrepreneur mums dot com dot au. It's funny when we started this business, we had no idea how to spell entrepreneur. Now we know. Uh, and on the homepage, you can have a look, and there's a short video from us, which you know has some member testimonials and has some um, footage of us in the meeting, so you can see actually what goes on. So I recommend you watch that. If when you watch that video, you go, "Oh wow, this is really cool. This is unique. I haven't seen anything like this." Then just underneath it, there's a button that says "Register um, Attend as a Guest," and you can complete the registration form. We will call you when you register. We will call you. We want to get to know you. We want to welcome you personally. That's our service. Come along to a meeting, check us out. If we're not in your area yet, we will be. So you can register um, your interest in a new community as well. And then jump online and follow us in Facebook and Instagram. And Alison's got some amazing training videos on YouTube. So, you know, grab her knowledge now and get cracking on your business. Absolutely. Well, I can't thank you ladies enough for your time and your level of, um, you know, expertise that you've just dropped on this show today. And if you're watching this show and if you're looking to, um, you know, join the networking group. Like I said, 80% of business is really done through word of mouth. And if you're not instigating it, or if you are not actually being out there to be known, nobody's going to know, like, and trust you. And like we've said, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Now, Alison and Sophie, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having us. It was really fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you.